Hello everyone, my name is Lacey and today I have my wax empties and half empties from the last week to share with you. Once again, I left my paper since I'm somewhere else that has the prompts on it, so I will just try to remember what they were. So I think we're starting with, I want to say June 8th. Anyway, the first day I have here was to melt a oceanic or aquatic scent. So the first thing I have is Blue Crush from Empire Alchemy. And I melted this in the back room. This is Neroli Sea Salt Water Florals Vodka and Sea Kelp. So this is a scent that I really like that I've mentioned before, and I don't know how long I've had this, but I've mentioned before that Empire Alchemy doesn't have the best shelf life for me. And I don't get through my wax fast enough to have like big bags from Empire Alchemy. It still smells pretty good though. It's just like I can tell it's about to go off. It's a really nice scent. Like you get that, those like kind of floral notes, but you get the sea salt and that vodka just gives it like a mineral tone. It's a really nice scent. I don't know if I would get it again in the future. Quite possibly if I could get it in a smaller size and not a big bag. And I'm going to try to melt through this, the rest of it here soon. It was like a medium thrower. It was okay. I like the scent. Performance was okay. I don't know if I would get that one again. Then in the kitchen, I melted the Salt Goddess from The Bathing Garden. The Salt Goddess is pink Himalayan sea salt, rich vanilla syrup, salt water, and vanilla extract. On cold, I do get some of that vanilla and the sea salt. On warm, this was like straight salty sea air to me. And I don't always love salty sea air. For some reason, it doesn't smell like salty sea. It doesn't smell like ocean air to me. I like it, but it's not one that I love and I prefer it blended with other scents. Yeah, and so I mostly got Salty Sierra from this. So it's not a favorite, but I won't, you know, it was strong, so I won't mind melting through these last three pieces there. In the living room, dining room, and entryway, I melted King Orin from Super Tarts. This is probably my favorite from Super Tarts along with Scottish Fog, and it's one of my top favorites from any vendor or company ever. It's rain, salt water, sea salt, patchouli, and cedarwood. It is just so good. It's aquatic, salty, earthy. It makes my mouth water. Ugh, I love this one. It performs well. I cut the band pieces in half to put in each of the warmers and it is strong and lasts all day. I love this scent so much. This is one that if she offered it in a band bag right now, even though I have all this left, I would probably grab one just because it is so difficult to get scents all the time from Super Tarts now and she's doing, I think it just closed, but she had a band bag pre-order open, but it was all strawberry pound cake scents, which didn't interest me too much. And I'm just, I'm not, I don't want to buy a bunch of band bags. Um, I would prefer half bams or clams, but this is one that if she offered in a bam, I would order anytime she offers it because I just always want to be... I, I always want to have it in my collection and not be without it. So, and I find that my Super Tarts has fairly good shelf life. So, I feel like I could hold on to that for a while and it would still perform. Anyway, one of my favorites of all time. And then the last one for the aquatic day, I melted Orchard by the Sea in the bedrooms and bathrooms upstairs. And the first time I melted this, it was very light. I did it in the same rooms. I did it in the bedrooms and bathrooms upstairs and I did the whole clam just like I did this time. It was very light for me. 
the first time. Um, I expected this one to be my favorite of the brick scents, the spring brick release. And after I melted my first clam, I was like really underwhelmed. Didn't think I was gonna, you know, purchase any more after I melted this one because I did originally order two bars of it. But this time it was so much stronger, like so much stronger. And I do really like it. I think I am gonna stick a bar in my club. Possibly, um, I already have Beach Daisy and Pink Apple and Nectarine in my bi monthly club. I may end up sticking Orchard by the Sea in there too. This is really nice. It's to me, it is very salty. Now, the first time I melted it, I didn't get that saltiness really, I didn't get a whole lot. I got like a light, like laundry scent this time it was like salty ocean air with a little bit of apple and a little bit of a clean laundry oh and I really liked it so and like I said very strong this time so I think it just needed to sit for a few weeks which is fine I would prefer that it is ready to perform as soon as I get it but most of my wax sits for a few weeks anyway, so I don't mind. I really like that. So, Orchard by the Sea. Okay, the next day was to melt um, wax in your favorite color. And I didn't have any black, or at least I thought I did end up actually finding um, a black wax and melting it a few days later. But I couldn't find any when I was looking for black wax on the day we were supposed to melt our favorite color so I went with pink instead and I melted Cotton Candy King from Yummer's Delight in the kitchen and this is Cotton Candy Frosted Cake Grape Creamsicle and Vanilla Ice Cream this was really nice and I don't always love cotton candy scents like super sweet like sickeningly sweet <laughs> scents but this one was really nice and that's really what it was it was like a cotton candy ice cream kind of scent I didn't get a ton of grape but you can tell it's in there so yeah it performed well I would probably grab that one again like in a dollar scent shot sale I did enjoy that one and it was like a hot pink color I have been doing really well about remembering to post each day on Instagram. Sometimes I might skip a day and post, you know, two days at one time, but I'm really trying to remember to post what I'm melting every day. So if you are interested in seeing what I'm posting, like, or melting daily, you can see that on Instagram, on my wax Instagram, which is Morrison Blue underscore scented, I believe. I'll put it here, but I am doing pretty, pretty good about remembering to melt, so, or to post. I need to slow down. I'm all over the place because there's like so many distractions right now. Anyway, in the back room, I melted another, this is like the color that that Yummers Delight wax was this like hot pink color so in the back room I did Bomb Dia Bright type from L3 in a scoopable and this was really pretty and strong this is really pretty I almost feel like I like this one more than Boom Boom that might be an unpopular opinion but I don't even know what's in here it's just really pretty it has that kind of warm perfumey vibe to it and it smells like summer and I really enjoy that so Bomb Dia Bright excited to melt through more of that this summer and then in the bathrooms I did um, a K custom of mine in Amas Veritas I'm not sure how you say it um, <laughs> I named it and I'm not sure how you say it but this was from my practical magic um, customs that I did. It's the love spell that Sally does in the movie. I think 
she might do it in the book too I can't remember um, but this is Luna Love Spell and Cactus Blossom and I do really like this I don't know I don't know if this will be one that I repurchase just because I don't love <laughs> Love Spell I like it I can recognize that it's a nice scent but it's not one that I reach for often to melt in my house so yeah, well, I did really like this and it was really nice in the bathroom. So it's like a really pretty kind of scent. I don't know that I'll repurchase this custom. I have so many customs that I love and know I'll repurchase. This might not be one of them, but it performed well in the bathrooms and I did enjoy it. I'm just not like in love with it. Um, and I kind of, when I made that custom, I kind of knew I wasn't going to be in love with it, but that's what I wanted to make. That's the notes that I wanted to use. So it's a nice scent I just I'm not in love with it okay in the bedrooms I did starburst sky from Scentsy and this oh, I really like this I forget what's in here I know it's been compared to like Baccarat Rouge 540 um, the cloud perfume from Ariana Grande And I can see that I've smelled the Ariana Grande perfume and I've smelled Baccarat Rouge in wax. I haven't smelled the actual perfume, but it does smell similar to wax that I've had in that scent. It's so good. It's so nice. It's like this warm, warm and pretty scent. I don't know. I feel like this could be year round. For the bedrooms but it does kind of feel like it feels a little summery but it's so warm I don't know <laughs> it's so nice um I know people get cigarette smoke from this and I didn't at first I really didn't and then I asked my husband what he thought it smelled like um, and he said he liked it and then he said it kind of smells like being in the backseat of a car in the 90s and like they saw those little ashtrays in the door, like right beside the door handle, there was like a little metal flip top ashtray. And if people smoked in the car, there would be like ashes around it on like the fuzzy material of the car door and he said it kind of smells like that like cigarette ashes on the fuzzy fabric of the car door and I can I as soon as he said that I was like you know what it kind of does it does kind of smell like I it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke as in you're sitting next to someone and they're smoking a cigarette and the smoke is blowing in your face it doesn't smell like that it smells like lingering like someone has smoked and it's just like kind of a little bit is left lingering on their clothing but they have a really nice perfume on that's what it smells like to me but it's not off-putting in any kind of way it scents like this kind of remind me of my grandma Sometimes when they have like a smoky but perfumey note. So yeah, I really like that one. It's in my club. I'll keep it in there. Okay, and the last thing I melted on the favorite color day was pink sugarberry mint. I did this in the living room, dining room, and entryway. It's like a really sweet berry. I do get the mint in here. I know a lot of people don't. Yeah, it has this like freshness to it that comes from the mint. This is really nice. I don't dislike this one. I picked this up in the bakery bundle in the flash sale or in the warehouse sale last time. I do like this. I would probably get it again if I saw it pop up in a sale. Yeah, pretty nice. And I actually, I liked how these two kind of smelled together when they met in the stairway is that what it's called the stairway um starburst sky and pinkberry mint i feel like these would be really nice actually like purposely blended together 
yeah, like alternating warmers because I really liked how they married and mingled in the air. So that was a good melting day. Pink sugarberry mint is pretty strong for me. So I enjoyed that. The next day looks like it was um, to melt a tea, herbaceous, or spice, spicy scent. Um, so I went with tea for the most part. In the back room, I decided to try my tester of Southern Sweet Tea. It's an older tester, but I wanted to melt this before I picked up a bar of it. And I actually really, I really liked this. So I think I am going to at least pick up one bar of it. I might end up getting more, but yeah, it's like a peach tea. It kind of smells like a peach black tea to me. I'm pretty sure the notes say white tea, but I feel like it smells like a peach black tea to me and I really enjoyed it. It was actually really strong in this little tester. So along with that, I did in the other two warmers back there, I did one warmer with another Southern Sweet Tea little mini tester and oodles of orange together because Southern Sweet Tea does have an orange juice note in it. I pick it up slightly, like a very tiny hint of it. So I wanted to add a little bit more orange into it and I actually really liked it. Um, I don't love oodles of orange, but with the Southern Sweet Tea, I did really enjoy it. And then in the other warmer, I did another oodles of orange with Sunkissed Citrus. So just again, adding some citrusy orange notes. Sunkissed Citrus has oodles of orange. I don't remember what's in that. I think it's like, it's like a few different fruits orange is in there but then there's some other stuff too I don't know I there might be like a mango in there I'm not sure but Sanka citrus is like all the citrus like lemon lime orange and yeah neither of these are like my favorites but I did enjoy them with southern sweet tea so if I do order a bar of Southern Sweet Tea. I might add in a bar of Sunkissed Citrus to do alternating warmers because I did really like Southern Sweet Tea with those added orange notes. Okay, then in the kitchen, I finished up my bar of Lavender and Lemonade Tea from The Bathing Garden. This is Effervescent Old Fashioned Lemonade Lavender Syrup and Bergamot Tea. I really like this one. Yeah, it's really nice. You get that like fizzy lemonade, that herbal lavender, and you definitely get that citrusy bergamot in here. I really like that it has that bergamot added instead of like, I don't know, another citrus instead of like lime or something else. It's it just makes it a little more unique to me. Yeah, I really like this one. It's making me kind of thirsty. So I would definitely grab this one. Again, at some point, I'm really holding out on the bathing garden. I've had carts full of bars and then I empty it and then I go back in and add and then I'm just, I don't need more wax right now, but it's so difficult for me to stay away from the bathing garden. That's like probably the most difficult vendor for me to not order from every pre-order or restock or whatever. So I'm, I'm just, I'm holding out. Okay. Um, the next one here is sea salt and sage from better homes and gardens. I melted this in, um, the bathrooms and the kids rooms. This is blue cypress, sage, bergamot, black pepper, lavender, white cedar, and spice scent notes. So this, whoa, this kind of covered spice and herbs. So no tea here, but this went really nicely with all the tea scents that were going on. Mm, I really like this one. Yeah, I would definitely get this one again. Very like... 
salty herbal. It doesn't even list salt in the scent notes there, but I definitely get a saltiness from it. It's so good. I love this one. I will definitely get more of that and it performs really well. In our bedroom, I did, I finished up my bag of Hagrid's Hut from L3. This a couple years ago was on my top 20 cents of the year list. I think that was 20, it might have been 2021. This is Earl Grey Tea, Moss, Cedar, and Saffron. It's so nice. It's, just, it's such a unique blend. And I actually can still smell, <laughs> smell this one a little bit. That saffron just gives it such a different kind of herbal tone. I love tea scents and I love herbal scents and I love cedar and moss is great too so I, I love Hagrid's Hut. I will definitely get more of that. I would like to get it in a scoopable. I mean this was Bunce and I like Bunce too so Bunce or scoopable I would be happy with. It performed really well in the bedroom. Then in the living room, dining room, and entryway, I did Tea Time from The Pharmacist Daughter. This is Bergamot Litsy Litsy Kubeba. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's making my eye twitch <laughs> thinking about it. Um, Bergamot Litsy Kubeba, 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 and Ginger. Um, and I think that Litzy kind of has like a citrusy tone to it. Yeah. Cause I'm getting the bergamot and I'm getting the ginger, but then I'm getting this other like citrus that's kind of more of a, I don't know, maybe like an earthy citrus. This one's really good too. Like really refreshing and just, I don't know kind of herbal like herbal tea but refreshing I it's really nice I would get this one again the pharmacist daughter typically performs really well for me this was a souffle I just I put the whole souffle through where I just said this whole area here and it was strong and lasted all day I could still smell it into the next day I probably didn't need to put all of it in the warmers, but I've had this for a little while and I just wanted to get through it. So, but yeah, it smelled really good and I would get it again. Okay, on to, what are we on? The 10th of June. And this was to melt scents that remind you of being a teenager. So in the kitchen, I did Clean Cotton and Love Spell from Super Tarts. I just pulled this out of the clean cotton sampler that I just recently got and this is like the ultimate reminds me of being a teenager scent. I actually really really like this. I think Brandy has a really good love spell because I really enjoyed this and she she just blends really well like this was blended really well and I got each thing but also got them together as one so it was really nice clean cotton was like the first scent that really made me fall in love with home fragrance and I was probably in middle school at that point and then love spell was the scent that everyone and their mom was using when I was in middle school and high school. I didn't use it, but everyone else did. And like, when I say everyone else, I mean, that's a general generalization, but relatively speaking, everyone else <laughs> used a love spell. Um, it just, it takes me back to locker rooms in middle school and high school. So the scent combined, yeah, it just smells like being a teenager to me but I really enjoyed it and this was actually I think my least favorite possibly there might have been one that I liked a little bit less but this was one of my least favorites from the sampler and I really enjoyed it and it was very strong in my tea light warmer 
And then in the ball warmers, I did Pink Summer from Yummer's Delight. And this is Clean Cotton and Sea Splash. So I was kind of going with the Clean Cotton theme because it really does remind me of being a teenager. And this is really nice. And I don't know, this doesn't exactly smell like clean, like the clean cotton Yankee type to me, but it could just be how it's blending with the sea splash. But usually clean cotton is like, it stands right out to me. I don't know, this is really nice though, like clean and refreshing. And the sea splash in here isn't salty sea air to my nose. It's almost kind of, it's almost a little powdery, fresh. Like it kind of reminds me of like the foamy, like the sea foam. I don't know, but yeah, this was nice. Um, I would possibly grab that again. I feel like most Yummer's Delight scents I would grab again, especially in a dollar scent shot sale. So I did enjoy that. Um, the next one here I did in the back room and I also did it in the bathrooms. So this is Oceanfront Suite from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is clean cotton, black sea, watermelon lemonade, and a hint of salty sea air. This is really nice. I would definitely get this again. And in my bathrooms, it lasted all day and then I could smell it. Like I could have left it in my warmers in the bathrooms probably for a couple more days because it was so strong. Really, really good. You get everything in here. You get the clean cotton. Like I said, clean cotton usually stands right out to me. And I get that first and then I get the black sea. And then I get the watermelon lemonade and then I get the salt juice here, like right in the order that they're listed. It's so nice and summery and fresh. Ugh, I love it. Oh man, it's so good. And sometimes Salty Sierra can really over overpower a blend for me, especially from L3. I don't feel like that happened here. I really got everything and it was so, so nice. I'm kind of sad that that's gone, but I would definitely repurchase that one. Oceanfront Suite. And then, I don't remember. Oh, this was in the living room, dining room, and entryway. Mr. Clean from K. This is Barbershop 1920s Blue Sugar and Clean Cotton. I feel like Carla has a really good clean cotton. Like, in here, it smells like a dead-on dupe to the Yankee Candle like most pretty much all of them smell similar and they all smell similar to the Yankee candle but this one is like exact in my opinion and then I get just a little bit of blue sugar and a little bit more of the barbershop 1920s mm, this is really nice I think I would get this one again Especially, I, I really like the clean cotton with the Barbershop 1920s, so this one was really nice. This was like a medium performer through this area and lasted all day. It was good. I like that one. And then in, yeah, in the bedrooms and bathrooms, I did Apple Blossom and Freesia from Better Homes and Gardens. The notes here are apple blossom, freesia greens, pear, raspberry, sugared, currant, and apricot, or apricot, however you want to say it. The reason I did this one is because it reminds me of the Ralph perfume from, again, like middle school and high school. I didn't have it, but one of my best friends at the time had it, and I loved it. And anytime I would go to like a department store, I would go smell it, and spray it, and yeah, this smells a lot like it. And actually one of you guys told me that because I think I was talking about, I always forget the name. I think it's Mythic Journey from the Frozen 2 collection. Mythic Journey. Yeah, from the Frozen 2 collection. That one smells so much like the Ralph 
perfume. I don't remember what it was called exactly. Was it just called Ralph? I just remember it was like a short little bottle, like wide and short. It had, I feel like it had like a blue ring around it or a blue lid and it just said Ralph. <laughs> so I don't know if it was just called that or if it had another name, but that's what I am referring to it as. Um, but that Mythic Journey from Scentsy really reminded me of that perfume and I loved it and I was kind of bummed that I didn't stick it in my club. Or I might have stuck it in my club and took it out. Anyway, I was bummed I couldn't get any more of it and then one of you guys let me know. I think after I had purchased this, one of you guys let me know that this one smells like Mythic Journey or the Ralph perfume. And it really does. And I'm so glad because... I love it Ugh, and it performed well it smelled so nice yeah I love that so if you liked that perfume or still like that perfume um, and you want your whole house to smell like it I would pick this up and give it a try good performer and it smells very similar to that the next day I don't know what we're, what day we're on but the next day was to melt a fizzy or fruit juice scent. So in the bathrooms, I melted, I pulled another one from the Clean Cotton Sampler, Clean Cotton and Island Nectar, which I thought was going to be one of my least favorites, and it ended up being one of my favorites for sure. And I put this in because that Island Nectar does kind of give like a fruit juice feel. This was so pretty. I loved this. Yeah, I would definitely get more of this. It's so good and clean from the clean cotton, but then you get that sweet, juicy note from the Island Nectar, but it is slightly perfumey. That Island Nectar, to me at least. Also, this is weird, <laughs> but either later in the day or the next morning, I went in the bathroom and it kind of smelled like sand swept and I was like why am I smelling sand swept and I'm kind of even getting it now on cold well on empty there's nothing in here I don't know I don't know why if it's just the two of those combining I don't know exactly what is in the island nectar portion of this but it gives me slight sand swept vibes like I'm getting that wet sand kind of note yeah, I don't know. I would definitely get this one again, though. I really enjoyed it. It performed super well, and I just really like the scent. In, I don't remember. I think I did this, yeah, in the back room. I did Fizzing Lavender Soda from the Bean and Garden. This is Effervescent Nectar, French Lavender, French Lavender Petals, Plum Blossom, and Citrus. The first time I melted this, I mostly just got like a fizzy lavender scent this time I got all that other stuff and it was really really nice yeah I think I don't know I almost get it's not in here but I almost get like a black currant kind of no it's like sweet and it has those like dark fruity notes and that French lavender yeah it's really nice I'll melt through the rest of this and then decide if I want to get more of it but I feel like I will because it performed super well it was so strong back there and I don't know there's something just a little unique about this one so I enjoyed that in the kitchen I did cream soda cupcake from the bathing garden I have three pieces of this left I think so I just did it in the tea light warmer and the bulb warmers. It's caramelized sugar, bubbly vanilla cream, and vanilla cupcakes. This was nice. Yeah, I love the bathing gardens, like vanilla scents, marshmallow scents, cupcake scents, like any, any of those like vanilla based scents I really like from the bathing garden. They just jive with me for some reason. 
yeah and this one was good like creamy vanilla with a little bit of a cream soda effervescence I don't know that I specifically need to get this one again I've said before I will just like pick up vanilla and marshmallow and those kind of scents from the bathing garden randomly like whatever she's offering I'm like oh that one sounds good and then I usually love it um, and I do have a jumbo clamshell of whatever it's called I'm blanking on the name it's the marshmallow marshmallow cookie bomb maybe I forget what it's called but it smells like a marshmallow milkshake I have a jumbo clam of that so I feel like I don't need to pick up these like vanilla base scents anytime soon but I will in the future so that was nice it performed well in the living room dining room and entryway I melted black magic woman from the melted mousse and this one is French lavender Egyptian amber tonka myrrh and sweet magic fizz I liked this one and this is the one that I found that has like black wax this is the darkest one that I have because I did find some gray wax but this one is like much more black and I do really like this also um, when I cut this they all kind of I didn't heat it up at all because her wax is really soft so they all kind of mushed back together and that didn't happen with my other scents from her so I don't know if it has something to do with the color I don't know this is really nice though um you you get all that stuff not necessarily like I'm not like oh I definitely get the tonka and the myrrh in here but it had that like again that effervescent lavender but I did get like a little bit more of a like earthy or resinous kind of tone in here but mostly I was getting like a fizzy pop and lavender scent so while I do really like it um I don't need it again it's kind of difficult to get your hands on the melted mousse at this point I mean I know you can but I it's not it's not one that I was like I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to get more of this I do really like it I'll enjoy what's left but yeah I feel like I could kind of like if I'm craving this kind of scent I could try to do like a custom with Carla or something but it is really nice and if you do order from the melted mousse in the future and you like those kind of effervescent lavender scents I would give this one a try because it was very strong like 10 out of 10 in my warmers super strong lasted all day I did enjoy it I just didn't like fall in love with it okay and then in the bedrooms I had um, was this in the bathrooms too? Yeah, this was just in the bedrooms. I did um, Tinkerbell Sweet and Sassy from the Peter Pan collection. This was really nice. It was strong. I did let this sit for a few weeks because it smelled really light on cold to me and I don't know. I had seen people saying that it performed really well for them, but I just wanted to let it sit for a little bit. And I can smell it a lot better now in the clam. It is nice. It was strong in the warmer. It's like a 7 out of 10. It lasted all day. I really liked it in the bedroom. But I don't think I'm going to get any more or club it because there's something in here that is just a little like nauseating to me. Or like I feel like it started to give me a headache. And I feel like it's the same note that I get from, oh my gosh, what is it called? The rose and lemon one that's in the catalog. Rose water, lemonade, rose and lemon water, lemon and rose water, something like that. I like that scent, but there's something in it that bothers me, like gets in my throat, gives me a headache. And I feel like I get that same note in here. It's like 90% really like this scent. 10% is that note that gives me a headache. I don't know what it is. But this is kind of like a citrusy body care scent and it's really pretty. If it didn't have that note in it, I would get more of it. 
but I just like it's kind of making me feel sick just smelling it now but I love the label that's so cute I love Peter Pan it's one of my favorite Disney movies I'm kind of sad that I didn't fall in love with this one like I said I did really like the scent it performed well but there was just something like a tiny little bit of something in there that made me not feel so well so I don't think I'm gonna get any more of that okay the next day was to melt a garden scent and I was super excited for this day so I did in the kitchen I had flower shop from the melted mousse in the tea light warmer this was really nice this was there's something that I don't love in here but the rest of it I kind of similar to the Tinkerbell scent most of the scent I really like but there's something that I just like a tiny little bit that I just really don't like but this definitely had like green notes floral notes and like a little bit of an herbal note like a green herbal note so yeah I did really like it it was strong it lasted all day there was something that was like a tiny little bit off-putting but for the most part it was really nice and then in the bulb warmers I did magnolia blossom from Empire Alchemy this is creamy sweet fresh green top notes is what it says um, so yeah it was like floral and green slightly powdery but it was pretty it performed at like a medium I could smell it that flower shop one was really strong in the tea light warmer but I could still smell this so I feel like it did pretty well okay in the kids bedrooms and the bathrooms I did French lilac and flowers I talked about this one before and then my friend Katrina actually gifted me a bar of it so I was super excited. I really like the scent. It's lilac, pear, boxwood, violet, and berries. Yeah, it's just really pretty. Really pretty. <laughs> um, I definitely get the violet, the lilac. I don't know that I get much berry in here. It's like a super floral kind of scent but really, really pretty. I like it for spring and I really enjoyed it this time too. So I would definitely get more of that. It's strong and it lasted all day. In our bedroom, I did another custom from my Practical Magic collection, not collection, my Practical Magic customs from Carla at K Sin and Melts. Um, and this is Garden of Magic. So this one is blackberry frankincense, French lavender, and wildflower honey. I've talked about that wildflower honey oil before. It's one of my favorites. It's just so good. I have it in this custom and I have it in my custom Jilly from, um, oh no, this isn't from Practical Magic. Guys, my brain is so scattered. This one, Garden of Magic, it's from the Hocus Pocus customs that I did. So this was my um, Sarah Sanderson set. I'm telling you. So Garden of Magic is my Sarah Sanderson scent. Blackberry frankincense, French lavender, wildflower honey. I really enjoy this. I love that wildflower honey oil. Like I said, it's one of my favorites. And mm, this is so good. Yeah. I love the French lavender with it. And that blackberry frankincense gives it a little bit more depth, like a little bit more of a like sultry, slightly resinous kind of scent. That if you haven't tried <laughs> wildflower honey yet. I really suggest that you do because it is so good especially if you like honey scents and it's like I said one of my favorite scents I love it I would definitely get this one again I finished the bag um, it was so strong in our bedroom it lasted all day into the next day like I could have left it in but you know I'm trying to get through wax so I took it out in the back room I did lush gardenia 
one of these little testers. I, I do really like Blush Gardenia and I'm kind of upset because I never realized how much I like Lush Gardenia. It was always just a super strong floral to me and I didn't always love florals like I do now. But now I get this like suntan kind of note from it. And I wish I could get a bar of it and mix it with like, I don't know, a coconut scent. I think it would be so pretty. But... Yeah, can't get that anymore, so. And then I also did lilacs and violets back there in the back room. This is another floral that I really like. It's a little bit more powdery, I would say, but it's really pretty. It's a good performer. Lush Gardenia is like super strong. This is like medium strong. Um, but yeah, I do like lilacs and violets. And then in the living room, dining room, and entryway, I loved this mix that I did. So in half the warmers, I did Simply Rose from Scentsy. This bar has been through some things. I do like Simply Rose. I have decided that I like Heirloom Rose more, but I do still like Simply Rose. Still pretty. So pretty. So in half the warmers, I did simply, simply rose, which is simply a rose scent, and I like that they did pink because it does give me pink rose vibes. Oh, it's so nice. Ugh, I love it. And then in the other half of the warmers, I did Petrichor from Teddy Bees. So Petrichor is the scent of wet earth after the rain, and I totally get dirt, earth, soil, and I get a really pretty rain note in here. This is so good, guys. If you like earthy scents, this is so good. And I know um, there are other vendors who carry similar scents. I think Alexis said that, what is it? Is it just dirt? Or I know there's a dirt and grass scent from Destination Wax. I don't know if she was talking about that one or if there's just a dirt scent. I don't know, but she said Destination Wax has one that's very, very similar to this. Um, I know that Smell, that Smell Good Shop has a dirt scent. I haven't tried it yet. I plan to, um, but I've heard that similar. I know Empire Alchemy has Petrichor in some of their blends and it does smell similar. I never had it on its own. I don't know if she ever offers it on its own, but I've had it in blends and it smells similar. I'm trying to think. I, obviously, Super Tarts has a dirt oil. I don't think it's the same, but it's still good. Um, but yeah, if you can't get your hands on this one, there are other options, but this one is very good. And I cut my souffle into 16 pieces, and then I am cutting them in half again. Like, I'll take a piece out and cut it in half and put the half in a warmer dish because it is very strong. You don't need a ton of it. Oh, it's so good. It's so, so nice. I absolutely loved this blend. I think I will like it even more with the heirloom rose, but I didn't have any on hand. I'm going to order some so I can try that because I think that will be even better because the heirloom rose has a bit of a fresh air scent to me and I think it will go so beautifully with Petrichor. So I'm looking forward to that, but I did enjoy this. So if you have Petrichor or dirt or whatever um, from whatever vendor and you like earthy scents and you like floral scents, <laughs> try it with a rose. Or, I mean, maybe any floral, but I really liked the rose with it. This was so good. I I loved that. And I could just sit and smell Petrichor all day. It's so good. So, yeah. Loved the garden day. That's kind of the whole, like, vibe I'm in right now. And then yesterday was to melt, I think it was flag day. So, it was to melt a patriotic scent or... Yeah, a patriotic scent. Um, 
So I have some scents that I'm kind of saving for July 4th, so I didn't want to melt those. So I just did some red, white, and blue wax. Um, so in the back room, I had Mirage from Midnight Daydream. And this is Mac Apple, Waffle Cone Crunch, and Palo Santo. This was nice. Yeah, it's like a really crisp Mac Apple. I love Midnight Daydream's Palo. So like smooth and I don't know, a little smoky. And you do get that crunchy waffle cone in there. This was really nice. Um, I know I'm, I'm pretty sure there are some vendors that have similar scents to this, but yeah, this was good. It was like a six out of 10 on performance, but I did enjoy it. In the kitchen in the tea light warmer, I melted this Bluebird sample from Supercharts. I just got this in my order last week. Um, I'm not sure if this was something before or this is if this was always what it was called, but to me, I don't know the notes, but to me it smelled like blueberries and like whipped cream maybe is what I got from it. It was like blueberries and a creamy scent. Yeah, it smells like blueberries and whipped cream to me. And I actually enjoyed this. I don't always love blueberry scents. Most of the time I don't like blueberry scents, but I actually enjoyed this one. I thought it was pretty nice. Um, I, not like, it wasn't like a super authentic blueberry, but it also wasn't a candied blueberry. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of like the pie filling that's in the cans and then like mix a bunch of whipped cream in there. That's kind of what it remind me, reminded me of. So yeah, I didn't hate it. It performed super well. It was strong and I really kind of enjoyed that. I don't know that I would pick it up, but I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. And then in the ball warmers, I had Sarah Jane from Super Tarts. And this is lavender, mac apple, and sugar milk. So sugar milk has been kind of off-putting for me recently in certain sense. I didn't mind it in here. I used to love sugar milk. I didn't mind it in here. This was a little bit lighter. It, it was like a medium performer, but it was a lighter scent, if that makes sense. Um, it wasn't like a heavy scent. It was kind of like a creamy lavender with a little bit of mac apple. I liked it. I don't think I'll repurchase this one, but I'll enjoy melting the rest of it. Yeah, it's good. I like that kind of creamy lavender situation. I get that from Love from Super Tarts. That is like a sweet lavender with pumpkin pecan waffles, and I love that one. So I think I'm good with just like reordering that one rather than like ordering more sweet lavenders. I don't know. It's nice though. I kind of rambled about that one. It was nice, like a medium performer. I don't think I'll get more. Okay, in the living room, dining room, and entryway, I melted Pima cotton, which is blue. Well, the wax is white, the label's blue. This is my current favorite laundry from Scentsy. It's so good. I love it and I did have this in the past like years ago I didn't love it as much then but now I absolutely love this it's so good it's like dry laundry and wet laundry at the same time I think I've said this before but it's like you just open the dryer got your warm dry laundry out and you're putting <laughs> the wet laundry from the washer into the dryer that's what this smells like to me and it's so good and it's a good performer Ugh, I love this one I have it in my bi-monthly I cannot wait for my bi-monthly to ship next month because there's so many I somehow I ended up with more of my favorites in my bi-monthly than in my quarterly and that's just how it ended up but I can't wait for that to ship so I can get some more Pima cotton as well as cucumber lime. I don't know. There's a bunch in there. Anyway, I did um, 
I put this in half the warmers through here and then in the other warmers I did Johnny Appleseed which is a red wax and Johnny Appleseed I feel like I get a red like Macintosh apple with the peel like I can smell the crunch and the peel of a Mac apple but I get a slight like green apple candy note in here too and like a tiny bit of a I don't know like a tiny bit of a muskiness or like a perfumey kind of apple note I do really like Johnny Appleseed it's really nice it's a really good performer um, and these two together was kind of fun I wasn't sure how that was gonna end up but it just ended up being like a fresh crisp apple with fresh crisp laundry oh, I'm dropping it yeah it's kind of nice I kind of like that I might end up um, mixing these two together again to use them up I don't know it's kind of hard to explain but it's almost like you just hung your laundry out to dry and then you take a big bite of an apple that you just picked off a tree like those scents together like add in um, like a fresh cut grass or something in here and it's like a whole a whole vibe I might have to try that next time um, so yeah I did enjoy this together they're both really strong for me and I'll probably Maybe, I don't know, I might mix those together again. And then in the bedrooms and bathrooms, I did Salted Bergamot Breeze from Scentsy. I love this one. It's in my quarterly club. I was playing with the idea of taking it out, but after melting it, I'm like, no, it's, it's staying in. This was the last bar I had in my collection, so I'll have another bar coming to me soon. It's so nice. And so it's funny, because this is Salted Bergamot Breeze. The prompt for today is to melt a breezy scent. Um, I usually don't look at the prompts until the morning of just because I'm not a melting basket kind of person. I can't pull scents a week in advance. I just, I just can't. I, I have to look at it in the morning and then decide what kind of mood I'm in and what I want to pull. That's just how it works. For me so I didn't look at the prompt for today until this morning um, so yesterday I melted salted bergamot breeze which would have fit in very nicely with the breezy prompt <laughs> so now I gotta go find another breeze scent ah, but this is so good this is salty it, it's definitely salted man it's so nice though that's that's basically what it smells like like salty bergamot with like kind of like a lush green background oh I do really like this it does kind of remind me of rainfall and lush greens that I just recently melted same vibes it also gives me a little bit of prickly pear and agave yeah, it's nice. I used to love prickly pear and agave and I took it out of my club and this kind of took its place. So I do really enjoy this scent. It was so strong in the bedrooms and bathrooms. Man, it's making my mouth water, that saltiness. So yeah, I do really like this one and I decided it is going to stay in my club. I only have one bar in my club. It's probably not enough, but anyway, that's everything that I got through in the last week let me know what you've been melting and loving or melting and hating are you following along with the wax challenge that patricia gates is hosting right now Ooh, this fly anyway that's it for this video i need to go get a drink or something I'm... all right thank you all so much for watching i hope you're all doing well and staying sane and i will talk to you all later Bye.